Hello. Today we have another couple of learnings from the Sefer of Insights into the Torah by Harav uh, Zalman Saratskin. But the Parsha is Parsha's Akev. Let's take a look at what he says. Okay, so now we have here we have here the achalta v'savata uveirachta es Hashem elokecho al ha'aretz atova asher nosan loch. So you will eat and you will be satisfied and bless Hashem your God for the good land that He gave you. That He gave you. So that's the mitzvah of bercha samazon of benching of uh, of uh, blessing Hashem after eating bread after the, after the meal. Excuse me. Take care, lest you forget Hashem, your God, by not observing His commandments, His, his commandments, His ordinances, and His decrees, which I command you today. Then tochal v'savata uvatim tovim tivne v'yashovta. Lest you eat and be satisfied, and you build good houses and settle. So in other words, when one, the Bnei Yisrael go into uh, Eretz Yisrael, they're warned to not to forget Hashem, lest they... They, they they eat and they're satisfied and build good houses and settle and they forget about Hashem. And your cattle and sheep and goats and, excuse me and goats increase. And you increase silver and gold for yourselves, and everything that you have will increase. And your heart will become haughty, and you will forget Hashem, your God, who took you out of the land of Egypt from the house of slavery, who leads you through the great and awesome wilderness of snake, fiery serpent, and scorpions, and thirst where there was no water who brings forth water for you from the rock of flint, who feeds you manna in the wilderness, which your forefathers knew not, in order to afflict you and in order to test you and to do good for you, in order to do good for you in the end. In the the end, it should be good. Asher ein mayim hamotzi lecha mayim mitzur hachalomish hama achil chamon b'midbar asher lo yodu ona vosecha laman anosecha olaman anasosecha lahitivcha biachari secha. So in other words, all these things were done or are done in order that it should be good for the bnei Yisrael in the end. So let's see what this this book here is. Insights in the Torah, Devarim, by Rabbi Zalman Saratkin. That's this paper over here. Let's see what Rabbi Rabbi Zalman Saratkin Zatal says. Yishomer lecha pentishka ches Hashem elokecha levil tishmor mitzvosav. Take care, lest you forget Hashem, your God, by not observing His commandments, even if heaven forbid. A person forgets God, <clears throat> if he still observes his commandments, the light of the Torah will eventually bring him back to the right path. 
as Chazal say, God said about the generation of the destruction of the temple, would that they had left me and kept my Torah. The light that is in it would have br brought them back to the good. Yerushalmi Chagiga 1.7 But if a man forgets Hashem, his God, by not observing his commandments, then what can ever bring him back? In other words, always keep to the doing of the mitzvot. Of course, we should do it with the right intentions that we're doing it for Hashem, but we should keep to the, continue what the, Hashem says. Would, they, the, <coughs> would that they had left me and kept my Torah. The light that is in it would have brought them back to the good. Yerushalmi Chagiga. He says over here, the Zalman Saratkin, that's how. Ten tochal v'sovato, v'ram levavecha, v'shochachto es Hashem elokecha. Lest you eat and be satisfied, and your heart will become haughty, and you will forget Hashem, your God. We might, we might naturally interpret this warning as meaning chiefly, lest you forget Hashem. But that cannot be, for this very warning has just been given in the previous verse. It makes better sense, then, to interpret the war chief warning as being, lest you eat and be satisfied. For this very thing can be the beginning of sin. As Chazal say, before a man prays for Torah to enter his body, let him pray for excessive eating and drinking not to enter him. Tana Devei Eliyahu Rabba, 26.3. The warning is that not to eat and be satisfied which leads you to your heart will become haughty and you will forget Hashem, your God. Even though we have already just been warned not to forget God, that's verse number 11, the Torah now comes to warn us against the adversary's way. That's the Yetzirah's way, the evil inclination way to pursue man. I think that's what he means by the adversary. The adversary's way to pursue to persuade man to stuff himself with excessive amounts of rich foods which then leads him to forget God and silver and gold become abundant for you this is another thing that makes us forget Hashem the chief worry is that say that silver and gold will become abundant for you for you, and you will not lend it to your fellow man and the poor among your people. As we explained in Shemos twenty two twenty four, the deeper meaning of if money you should lend, im kesef talve, if money you should lend, is that if money, if money, in, is that if you come across money, in other words, you are, thank God, making a nice living, if money, if you see that you have more money than you need, you should lend. Im kesef talve. If you see that you have more money than you need, you should lend it to those who do not need it. No, excuse me, to those who do need it. If you see that you have more money than you need, you should lend it. You should lend it to those who do who do need it. God has given you the portion destined for the poor to test you and see whether you will faithfully hand it over. Even if silver and gold become abundant in your hands, as long as it is not only for you and you help others with it, there is no fear that your heart will become haughty and you will forget. So in other words, if one is making a comfortable living and one has enough money to support other people to help other people one can't give too much because one needs for all of one's own needs for one's family's needs but one should not forget the poor and should help them out also and your heart will become haughty and you will forget Hashem your God a Jewish heart is the tabernacle of the divine presence as the Torah says, quote, I will dwell in their midst, literally within them, Hashem will dwell in their midst. 
Bisocham, literally within them. Thus, a Jew always remembers his gods, but but if that heart should become haughty and pride comes to settle within it, then the divine presence will leave. As Chazal tells us, the Holy One, blessed be he, cannot live with conceited people. The inevitable result is that this type of Jew forgets his God. God forbid. Thank you very much, Yeshikoyach. Talk to Hatzlacha with everything, with the learning. Thank you very much.